This is from Susie. Is there one thing I should chuck out of my kitchen? I love this question. The minute I saw this, I loved it. Is there one thing I should chuck out of my kitchen immediately to cut calories? Uh, well, Susie, I, what I would do is start by by really flipping over the, the package and looking at the ingredients list. Because um, you got all these, again, marketing head fakes on the front of the package. It says, all natural. Oh, that must be good. But, I mean, earthquakes are all natural. Right. They're not necessarily <laughs> good for you. Then you have things like, you know, enriched. You know, you have um, so many different, reduced fat. Right. And you think, oh, my gosh. Food marketers are trying to convince you that what you're eating is good for you. So you got to flip Enriched over the box. Enriched is like a signal that it's not good for you, right? Yeah, a lot of times, a lot of times they sound good, and then you realize, oh my God, they're stripping out the the grain right. and all right. the good stuff right. from the. Um, but well, would the, you say maybe carbs. that the. The thing you should chuck out of your kitchen immediately are the packaged goods? Yes, 70% well, of our calories come from processed foods. Right. So um, I, would, I would look at the label and I would, anything you can't really pronounce, there's no <laughs> reason, for example, breadcrumbs should have 39 ingredients. Right. You know, so I would, I would start there. You might have to chuck out, chuck everything. Right. Um, but no, the, uh, but I think getting that, um, starting there and really understanding what's yeah. in your food is, is yeah, the first step. At, well, I guess everything is about understanding and, and, and paying attention.